so me and our next door neighbours. So there was me and our Jack, and next door we had Sophie and Chloe. And Sophie was my age, and Chloe was Jack's age. So in the summer, we had like you know those six foot fences with like they've got like a concrete slab at the bottom and concrete pillars. Slide them out, and you just take the fence out, and we had like a big back garden between the four of us. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, we you did, did that. You did, that's so cool. Yeah, that's so cool. So we we shared each other's stuff. They had I like a Wendy house and a slide, and we had rocks. I, it, it, my, my dad was so grumpy. Get off me, rocks. My dad was so grumpy through uh, all of my childhood. If I'd have moved a panel of fencing without full written permission from my, my dad. My dad would do it for us. Oh, my dad was such a grumpy. We had to come out and just lift it out, and then we'd all. Because we had a tyre swing in our back garden attached to the tree, and they had like a it's slide and zoo. stuff, and a uh, swing. That's amazing. That's a, the first co op. Yeah. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Take them out, you cool bastards. <laughs> Get these out. Dad! I can't yeah, worry about that. it. Burn That's what they were made nice for, isn't it? Yeah. Slide out. Yeah. Yeah, they were made to slide out, but I just don't think by kids to fuck around with the neighbours. It's the coolest thing I've ever heard. I love it. And I respect it. Yeah. And then, like, of a, a weekend, of a night, like... Uh, the next door neighbours would get like drunk with me dad and my mum and they'd just have a big back garden between the four of them and we'd all just run around causing chaos oh, so cool yeah. oh, sure. summer holidays were fucking brilliant weren't they? summer holidays <laughs> when you were a kid lasted three years oh no that, that first Saturday morning of a summer holiday like <laughs> oh, oh my god my what am I going to do for four and a half months because <laughs> oh. that's how it works isn't it the feeling of walking out of school on the last day you like, never walked though did you oh but it was like oh, ties around your head fucking <laughs> loving it I'll see you in six months Oh, I mean, I still it's love somewhere that. between four and a half months and four and a half years. It really, really did feel like that, though. And when yeah. that first week back at school, you, it was like you'd forgot how to school. <laughs> you had you, you couldn't you in, write it. Oh, you couldn't write it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> <laughs> what the wrong year? <laughs> Same year as the one we left as well. Do you know? I, I've watching it now. Letter. She's getting tired. She's getting tired this year. It must have happened to us. You know, towards the end of the summer. Get it on the modafinil. If you weren't, oh, that's a good, good another parenting tip from Adam. Cage, <laughs> modafinil. Not not together, that's cruel. Um, the, you watch her, just, she's just getting a bit like knackered. Like it's been a lot. The summer break is needed. I can't ever remember that as a kid because you were like, just a kid, you were just living it. But we must have been getting to the end of the term. The teachers must be like, oh, just let these little knobheads <laughs> out. Let them go. Because do you remember the, like, the last week or two weeks in July? If you were in like year eight or nine, you weren't really doing exams or anything. You just started getting fucking feral, didn't you? So all I can see is the uh, uh, the grass that's been mown on the field. Yeah. And you're just on the field all day. Yeah. You're not even doing lessons. You're just running around the field. It's I, not like they, you'd get a history and the teacher would be like, right, mate, no history today, mate. Football, mate. Wow, you had a <laughs> an Irish teacher. <laughs> really good. Come on, mate. We have broken all the books, mate. So we're going to play <laughs> football on the field. I, rem I remember teachers... Now I, I realise what it was. It was just them going, I oh, can't be fucked. They've gone. Mentally, we'd all gone. I remember classes were like, we're just going to go, we're going to go out on the field. Oh, we just I had a whole... Oh, when they'd wheel in that telly and put Matilda oh, on. Here sit, comes sit the, the telly. <laughs> here comes the telly. It's nearly as big as Dan Nightingale's computer console from 1988. <laughs> Do you remember in little school when you put all the classes together and you'd watch it, a Christmas film together? Like four classes on the floor. Oh my God, yeah. I used to love that. Oh, mate, I'd love to go back to school, you know. <laughs> Fuck me. I remember Mr. Edwards, our chemistry teacher. We went to school with a guy called John Lloyd, who I think I've talked about before. It was just, he's like, his hormones kicked in when he was about eight. He's like, he was getting served at 12. He was just a gr like a grown man at an old lad school. We, we all looked up to him. He was funny as fuck. He basically left the school at, uh, just before GCSEs. I don't, I think he was sort of invited to, I don't know. They moved away. He wasn't there for GCSEs. But from first to third year, that cunt made every day more fun, like harder to work. He was just such a fucking, and he got, he was really good at knowing how far to push certain teachers. Like I think I've said this on a previous episode. We had a, an RS teacher called Boggy Whitmore. Mr. Whitmore, and he was famous. Boggy Whitmore. Yeah, Boggy Whitmore. He had a. He'd have been dead. And he asking. had like an Amish sort of um, wraparound beard, right? He'd have been so dead. And he was into violins. It he was like a, it was like a, a, a rumor, a rumor that he was into violins. So if you caught him into in the right way, you could go, Mr. Whitmore. And it was never us, but brave enough. It was always John Lloyd who was like, Sir, like at the start of a lesson. 
Yeah, like, and that, get- that tone of voice from a year <laughs> nine, honestly, is them trying to write the lesson off in it. Say, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, I've heard right, I, like uh, just rumours, right, that your daughter's fit. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Whitmore, uh, I'm really interested in violins. Could you tell us how to make a violin? And the game was to try and keep Boggy Whitmore going so you could do, because our lessons were an hour. Our lessons were an hour. How far into that could you get before you went, oh, never mind about this. I've got to teach you religion. We once got him to, to, honestly, it was four minutes before the end of class. And John Lloyd was just in the back going, Keep him going, keep him going. <laughs> and if you tried to ruin it, John Lloyd would fucking kill you. He'd be like, oh yeah, sir, really? And how'd you get the strings on? Oh, if you're really interested, Fletcher, I will tell you. Fucking legend. I've, and I've once he got Mr. Sorry. Edwards, the chemistry teacher, to just do a stand-up set. One of the best things I've ever seen. I'd, I'd pitch it at third year, year nine. It must have been end of year. All everyone's not concentrating. Mr. Edwards was boring. Not a bad dude, but a boring teacher. And John Lloyd got him telling stories similar to Boggy Whitmore. But then my my memory of it is he's laughing, but I was watching John Lloyd. So John Lloyd was laughing enough to think to make Mr. Edwards think he was ripping it, but not enough to for, to make Mr. Edwards go, "You're taking the piss." So I would let Boggy like fucking Mr. Edwards was telling the story about playing cricket. Like, I never got it. You know the ball's coming at you. You're like bloody hell, it's gonna hurt me. And John Lloyd was like, <laughs> "Great, great, good sir." <laughs> so I was watching John Lloyd totally take the piss, and I honestly saw in Mr. Edwards' eyes he was like. I'm fucking ripping this. <laughs> As a comedian, I know that look. That look of like, fucking hell, this new stuff's going well. <laughs> the whole lesson was Mr. Edwards just telling stories. Chemistry. That ha- I can't remember when that was on the... That must have been the end of the year. And Mr. Edwards gone, went on to be Mickey Flanagan. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Edwards is now doing Live at the Apollo, which is great. Who was that blonde bowlhead we had? Yeah, we. I've told this story on the podcast before. There was a, a supply teacher in our school called Miss Murphy. Murphy, yeah. And she pretended to be like an in-the-know about footy. And she was a massive Liverpool fan, season ticket holder, I think. Yeah. And if you got her talking about footy in the first five minutes of the lesson, the lesson's over. Like, she would not stop. Yeah, we and didn't she- have to lead it. We'd start it and sit back. Yeah. She was a supply teacher. Yeah. Are they a bit, like, maverick anyway? Because they're like... But like You know, like a permanent resident supply teacher? Right, 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 right. So, like, she was always in our school, and she just covered whoever was off. She was Solskjaer. She was a super sub. Yeah, literally. Right, right. right? So, but she... I remember her trying to tell Everton fans in our class that Arteta and Tim Cale were both going to Everton in the summer. I remember a Liverpool fan in... I think she was covering a history lesson. What was the subject that Mr. Rowan taught? I think. Yeah. Right, so I think uh, <laughs> I th- that was just an abacus for I me. Think someone went, hey, Miss, have you heard these rumours about like Arteta and Kale? She's like, sit down, <laughs> <laughs> pens down. And I was just gone. It was fucking a brilliant. We've told the story. On I this love, before, but- I loved it. I loved it when you you just you had to pitch it just right. If you were taking the piss too much, they're not idiots. But some of these, this is no offence if you're a teacher. I look back now and think some of those teachers were just fucking geeks. They were just grown up geeks who are like, oh, Mr. Edwards was like, I like chemistry. He's never told a story that's got a laugh in his fucking life. Now a load of 13 year olds are ripping the, taking the piss. So good. Did you do sex education? Uh, I teach it now to grown women. Oh, good. (laughs) Fuck for that. Get your pipettes. Um, (laughs) Biology. Yeah, we must have done some... That's your pussy. Look at my cock. Yeah, that's how you get thrown out of most schools, isn't it? (laughs) No, I teach it to adults. It's a night school. It's a night school. That's what I call it. Sexy night school. (laughs) Just him and one bird in his house. Night school. Yeah, night school's in. Get your protractors out. (laughs) 